Hi everyone, uh, my name's Alfred. Welcome to the either the last episode of the season or the last episode ever. Just in case I never ever do this again. This episode is going to be extra long. Um, but hey, it's 300 second craps. If this is uh, your first episode, I don't know why. But uh, if you're just joining us, I use this series to watch stupid, horrible, dumb Instagram life hacks. And then I just, you know, narrate them. You guys see nothing. I bear this yoke alone. So we're going to dive right in. This is 35 crazy hacks to look cool even if you are not. Of course, they could have written aren't or even if you're not, but who knows? Gray hair. Okay. Hold on. So they they get the gray hair caught in a ballpoint pen and then they push the, the pen nib down and then they use that to pull it out as though that's the easiest way to do that. Bought new clothes. Forgot to remove. They didn't take off the uh, thing that tells you if you sold your clothes or not. They put together two forks and then they just pull it off. Strong rope. They're tidying around what appears to be a vacuum cleaner. Okay, they made it into a backpack and then they just go and vacuum that up like Luigi's Mansion. Okay, she's baking stir fry. Splashes of oil, question mark? And then she slips and she comes back up with an umbrella. Oh, God damn. She hooks the handle of the spatula into the umbrella. It has to be a clear umbrella, by the way. Okay, so these two idiots are watching Five Minute Crafts on the TV with their legs spread out. Jesus Christ, hold on. Okay. With their legs spread out, so they make like a square or a diamond or a rhombus on the floor. Trapped between them is a Roomba. They're eating... a. Uh, sunflower seeds and just throwing them onto the floor for their hapless Roomba to clean up. Monsters, I tell you. They're also drinking boba tea. Oh, Jesus Christ. This next one's a fucking doozy. This woman puts a toilet seat on her head. I swear to you, 35 crazy hacks to look cool even if you are not. She puts a toilet seat around her head and then she puts a plate of food on the top part and then she eats it a plate of potatoes and sausage. Oh my God. What the hell? Yeah, she just puts a toilet seat on her head. What the fuck? What kind of monster would do that? Where did you get that? The bright sun question mark? Oh Jesus. Okay, so she takes a can, of, uh, 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 a roll of packing tape, draws sunglasses on it, and then tapes it to her face. She just puts tape on her face. And then she says, now it's better. Okay, so the mom's... Oh, uh, boy. So the mom's mopping the floor. The daughter comes in and says, no, no, no. And then she puts one mop between her legs. And some people from stage left and right throw her more mops. And then with three mops, she walks backwards, mopping the room with her legs and arms. I don't know if she's actually getting anything the floor is spotless to begin with she's not you know seen cleaning anything up the mom's either dumbfounded or just screaming at her stupid daughter all right someone dabs lipstick on their face okay face concealer and they put face concealer on their lips and then they dab a little more Mom, question, uh, exclamation point. Oh, they look sick. Okay, I thought they were trying to look like an e-girl. All right, so someone's trying to open a lock. The key breaks in half. But they glue gun the key back together. That's, what the hell is the life hack there, dude? The life hack there is use glue to stick things to things. That's how, that's how glue works. That, what the hell? Oh my god. Okay. Here's a life hack where you can 
Bukaka, your friend with beer, I guess. I don't know what the hell that life hack was. But this one, someone's taking the back off a picture frame. And they use double-sided tape to stick it to their iPad. And then they just kind of tap on it as though they're doing something, but they're very clearly not. The next one is a life hack for putting a bunch of your foreign coins in something. Into a little bank, I guess. Jeans too big? Oh, Christ. Okay, so this woman's jeans are too big. She dumps... She takes a plastic bag that has a, bo- a shoebox in it, dumps out the shoebox as though that's nothing, and loops it through her jeans, and then pulls it tight, and then puts the rest, the excess, in her pocket. But belts exist. You didn't buy a belt? You just bought those jeans. Didn't you try them on? What the hell? Okay. Someone's trying to eat yogurt. She can't. Probably because she has a fork. She's confused. Why is she confused? You have a fork. Okay, so the tooltip says duct tape, but that's very obviously scotch tape. She wraps her fork in scotch tape. And now she can eat yogurt that isn't right. Also, she does that weird face that people do in these videos where they want to look satisfied. Ah, Jesus. Don't eat scotch tape. Don't make utensils out of scotch tape. Anyway, someone puts a magnet on the inside of their fridge and then sticks a Coke bottle to it and does that four other times for extra space in your fridge. Can't open it? Oh, my God. This woman try is trying to open a beer bottle and puts it in her mouth and tries to tear it off with her teeth. I thought that was something stupid Americans did. Maybe these videos are shot in America. Anyway, her life hack is that she uses her wedding ring to pull the beer off, which is... I don't know if that's actually safe, especially for a ring like that. Broken corkscrew? Question mark. Stop drinking so much goddamn wine, you alcoholic. The actual hack is that they put it into a drill and then they just drill it out. And then they, in excruciating detail, show us a woman pouring the wine out. Okay, this woman is trying to brush her hair, but people are holding balloons to her left and right. Very obviously. Okay, so she wraps aluminum foil around the handle of her cone and uses it to de- de-staticize her hair. Okay, someone's trying to we- sweep up hair. They don't want to touch it with their hands, sure. So they use a glue gun to affix a comb to the uh, to the little handle tray you sweep stuff into. And then you can sweep it off. Someone's looking at their hoodie and apparently something's wrong with it. So they take a box cutter and put the blade of a box cutter on a comb and then they they brush it again. Oh, okay. They brush it against the hood to get the fuzzies off. Okay. That makes a little sense, I guess, but most people don't notice those. Someone's painting their wall. It's going nuts on this wall. And then they get uh, what looks to be a little scrubber and then they draw a bunch of ugly circles on it. It looks like crap. Dude, your wall looks like shit. Repaint it. It's probably because you scraped the fucking paint off. I'm getting madder and madder at these as this series goes by. Okay, someone uses... uh, They dip a brush in hair dye partially, and then they brush someone's hair with it. Okay, someone's trying to brush their hair, but they're mad that their hair is getting pulled out. And it's one of those circular ones. So they use scissors to cut the hair. And then they blow it off. Why would they blow it off? Someone has to pick that up. And it better be you, asshole. Ugh. Some people do. All right. Someone's threading a ribbon or something through a comb. They're just kind of threading it back and forth. And they slide it off. And they fold it up. Oh, and now it's a shitty looking leaf that they put on their ugly paper craft. Whatever. Hmm. This is so ugly. 
I'm getting a Webtoon ad. You know, I don't mind Webtoon. I don't read too much of them. I don't even think I read any of them. Um, I do read a few, I think. But yeah, I, I don't mind getting ads for Webtoons. Isn't Tower of God based off a of Webtoon? Because that's dope. I'm really glad that they just blew up. Like, that a that a like little web comic artist is getting a like full on anime that's so dope i know it's essentially what happened to one punch man but one punch man is a different case i talked over that hack but it was completely completely garbage this woman is uh using hairspray to tie down her hair i guess but then she puts her hand on it and it sticks and Sticks up. Probably shouldn't have touched it. But then she puts hairspray on the... On the... Uh, God. She puts hairspray on the... Uh, why would you touch your hair? I'm, I'm, I'm just watching this, trying to figure out what the hell she's trying to do. But she puts hairspray on her brush and brushes her hair with it. Okay, and then this woman uses a comb to trim her eyebrows. That's what the eyebrows are... Yeah, that's okay. Okay, this woman's trying to put a needle through thread. So she puts the thread onto a toothbrush and then kind of worms it through. And then you can pull it through. And now you thread in a needle. Toothbrush life hacks. Okay, so they've got a dirty toilet. And then they blowtorch a toothbrush and bend the head at a 90 degree angle and then you can use it to brush your teeth don't show me that dude that's gross okay someone's brushing their teeth with a different toothbrush oh it takes too long she's falling asleep hey brush your teeth dickhead oh my god okay so she hot glues a second identical toothbrush to the first one and then sticks the whole thing in her mouth you're not going to be able to brush the front of your teeth it doesn't actually make that much more time. That wouldn't fit in your cheek also. Okay, so they cut the head off of a toothbrush and then they put it in a pot to boil it like it's a green bean. And then they just bend it with their hands. And they bend it into a little worm shape. What's the point of it? Oh my god, it's supposed to be a hook. Yay. Yeah, so they put like pot holders and shit on it. You can just buy those hooks, dude. Go to hell. Okay, someone is, they have a toothbrush that looks like mine in that the bristles are all folded out. They put it in a cup of hot water for a couple minutes and it goes back to normal. Sure, I guess. All right, someone's eating sunflower seeds. Oh, she makes pain and she throws it back onto the plate. Okay, so then she gets a, another toothbrush and just cuts off all the bristles with an exacto knife. And then she rubber bands one end together. And then she puts a little nib of paper in there. It's like chopsticks, I guess. And she uses it to crack the sunflower seeds open. That's so much work. I don't think people actually enjoy sunflower seeds. Okay, someone duct tapes. Nope. They hot glue a bendy straw to their toothbrush. And then they put the straw in the sink water. And it squirts up a little bit like a, like a drinking fountain. Are you so lazy that you... God. Okay, someone's trying to get their mascara going, but it's clumpy. So she brings out a toothbrush... And brushes it out. Ew, with a toothbrush? Before or after. Get new mascara. Put makeup remover in it. Or something. It's either it's makeup remover or eyeglass cleaner. There's some like common household flu that you can just pour into mascara and it won't be clumpy. I occasionally wear a mascara. Pull tab. Okay, someone's got a pull tab. A pull tab, by the way, is the little the little thing from a soda can, if you didn't know. 
Um, I don't drink soda, so I sometimes have to remind myself of what a pull tab is when people talk about it. Um, that's just a me thing, though. I just don't drink soda. Anyway, someone has a little pull tab. They put it on a keychain, and then you can use it to hang a keychain from your belt loop, I guess. Using a pull tab, someone just uh, fixed their zipper, I guess. They put it on the back of a picture frame so you can hang it from a wall. Yeah, someone's trying to use a pull tab to open a beer, but they've ruined their nail polish. Sure. So they instead use their hair tie to yank the pull tab forward. And somehow they're holding it so tight that the can like gets dented. Like the second that they the can opens or no they're they're crushing it tight already weird okay so someone cuts the top off of a coke can and then they use it to skin a carrot you know this isn't really a pull tab hack it's more the top of an entire soda can okay so they've got a bottle bottle lid and they put a pull tab in the middle and they tamp down the edges with a pair of pliers. And then they put a diaper pin through it. And then you have a little pin, like an up. Though, I do want to make this clear. If you put on a tab from a beer can, or a, a cap from a beer can as a pin, you're going to look like an alcoholic. Where are they going with this? Okay, so they pull the strand off a purse and then they put the pull tab from a can of chicken noodle soup on there and then they just use it as like a corset i guess to tie it to tie them their stomach down to squish their stomach in is it for fashion is it because they think they're fat because they aren't oh boy Okay, this section appears to be toilet hacks because there's a bunch of people sitting on the toilet and making those relaxed, like, comforted faces that are just gross. Yeah, then there's a flushing toilet. Too cold, someone says. She pulls her pants down and sits down on the toilet and then leaps up. Oh, no. So she takes her infinity scarf off and puts it over the toilet seat and then just puts her bare butt back on it and then poops, I guess. Okay, so someone has a glow-in-the-dark marker. I already don't like where this is going. And they write it on, they write something on paper and then they glue it on the inside of the toilet. And then when they shut the light off, it says, put me down in what, uh, that's gross, dude. Oh boy. It just looks kind of icky. I'll be honest. Okay, using a complicated system of pulleys, someone has used string to attach to the little button that goes inside European toilets. So then it pulls the top down. Okay, so someone's trying to take a poop, but the lock's broken. So she takes her belt off and belts it around the door handle to hold the door shut. This idiot is yanking at the door. Dude, the reason that someone's not opening the door is because someone's in there, you idiot. Are people this stupid? Like, geez, how come I can't get into the bathroom? It's because someone's in there, you moron. Okay, this hack is a... Uh, clogged toilet put some aspirin in there. I don't know if it works. I don't care. I'm not going to trust these people. This woman looks like she's dipped her face in a McDonald's grease fryer. Oily skin, question mark? Yeah. So she takes one of those like little toilet seat covers and then just mushes her face into it. Ugh. See, I don't know if that's completely sanitary. Can be used as a matting napkin. And then she kind of sinks into herself. Clogged toilet, again. Use instead of plunger. And then they have a bottle with the, with the bottom cut off. Okay. Uh, 
I'm I don't know what I'm looking at here. It appears to be a little thing to help the I don't know what the hell that was. I assume it's a Euro thing that I just don't know about. All right. Someone goes to sit down on a chair, but it's covered in clothes. So then she just kind of parks herself on the edge of it. Oh, my God. And then she comes back wearing a toilet seat and then just stands while eating. Easy and handy. No, it's not. You're an idiot. Naughty cat. And then they show a very obvious cat puppet or a uh, stuffed animal like knocking over a, a toilet roll you know as cats do so they do a little hack where they roll up some they, they cut a bottle oh my God. they cut a slit in the side of a bottle and then uh roll it around the toilet paper so then the cat can't get at it and then they say cat proof no it's not nothing is cat proof and then they show the little cat puppet batting at it and then giving up. And then they show a little side by side of without and with about how the cat can't unroll it. No, dude. Nothing's cat proof. Someone puts a bottle full of sand in their toilet and then it shows that they have less water consumption. That is true. Dirty brush. Gross. Don't show me that. Lavatory cleaner. So if you just pour like lavatory cleaner in the thing where your brush lives, then it'll be clean. Whatever. Let's take a look at these. Want to eat dinner by the TV? Sure, I'll get the toilet seats. <laughs> Want to know another hack to know how to pay for that little thing? Pay for your clothes. That refers to the, one of the early hacks. This is a joke, right? Creativity is one thing, but eating off a toilet seat? No. Yeah. It's a clean toilet seat. Oh, my God. Why are you defending them? Elsie Planet, why the hell are you defending these people? Are you legitimately, like, looking at this and you're like, ooh, eating off a toilet seat. That's a great idea. I love that. Is no one else going to talk about what the fact she tried to eat yogurt with a fork and then put tape around it because it wasn't working? Yeah. Her puts tape on fork. Me, use a spoon. Just get a spoon. Gotcha Dragon says, that's not even a real cat. Yeah. Jeez. Great to show every shoplifter how to take the special tags off clothing, Rage. And then they have a little angry face emoji. What do you care if people shoplift? The only people who really lose money when shoplifting happens are billionaires. And you know what, buddy? They can stand to lose a few bucks. But hey, that's the season of finale of 300 Second Crap. So I'm going to watch a second one. I say that like it's a, ooh, a twist, but... You guys are sitting here. You're probably looking at the length of this video. And it's half over, I assume. I hope it's more than half over. I don't want to keep sitting here and doing this. I hate this fucking channel. This is from their play channel. 30 cool, satisfying ideas. Not too bored at home. 30 cool, satisfying ideas. Not too bored at home. What? Okay, someone's painting a fake nail black and then they put white gel nail polish on it and then they put a sponge and they put shampoo on the sponge and then they take some of the bubbles and they just kind of put it on the plastic nail again dry two minutes they dab away the bubbles you put another layer of top gel polish on and now you can trigger people's trypophobia it's trypophobia right not tryptophobia Okay, someone put some gel polish on, then they put a top coat on. Oh, Jesus. And then they put the wings of a dead fly on there. Where did you get those? They put four wings on there. So they killed at least two flies. And they put another layer on there. 
where the hell did you get those? Okay, this next one. They drop a bunch of nail polish in a bucket of water. And then they mix it all up and make it a cool design. And they dip a nail in there. And then they pull it out and put some top some top coat on. Okay. They put a sponge. Put some nail polish on the sponge. They paint it in not quite the trans flag. And then they just kind of mush all over it. Mush all over a plastic nail. And then they paint over it with holographic nail powder. And they put another top coat on. Oh, it looks like one of the dragon scales from Dragon Tales. All right. This one's blue. Base gel polish. They're putting kind of like a diagonal zoopy design on there. Yes, I said zoopy. I went there. They put some holographic nail powder on. And they put some gold on there. Now it looks like your dragon dildos. Baddragon.com. Dude, I would lose my mind if I got sponsored by a bad dragon. I would take it. I don't do anything related to that, but like I would take it. This next one is that they just put a splotch of nail polish on there and then they started to wipe it off. And then it reveals one layer, but not the other one. So it looks cool, I guess. All right. This one's hot pink. And then they press the nail. So they paint nail polish onto a three-dimensional pattern. And then they take it away with something, I guess, a nail stamper. That's what it said. And they stamp the nail with it. Um, I don't really know if that's a hack because if the thing's called a nail stamper, that's what it's for. This one, they push foil onto the nail so it has kind of a reflective effect. What the hell? Okay, so they dump dyed cement on top of an egg carton and then let it dry and then they just pull it away. I don't think you can just take cement off of eggs i don't know if that's actually how it works bro no okay this next one they put a bunch of spoons okay so they put a bunch of sp they glue a bunch of spoons around a what they glue a bunch of spoons around a jar okay i've got this far and then just keep going down until it looks like a lotus, I guess. And then they put a light inside. And then it's a crappy light, I suppose. Okay. So someone's hot gluing a rope to the edge of a tire. And then they just keep on going until they've hot glued a shitload of rope to the edge of the tire. And then they put a ready-made basket top. It's another spiral of rope on top of it. And then they sit on it. Old staircase. That's an old ladder, but sure. So got an old ladder. They paint it blue. They drill into the stairs. And then they affix. Hey, what is that? Okay. And then they just affix it to the wall. And then it's a crappy shelf. Okay, so they've got a milk jug with a very obviously fake milk logo on it. And then they put a single shoe in there. And then they put the other shoe on top. And now I guess you've organized your shoe. Your shoe shelf? Okay. They have a bunch of branches that are completely identical in length. They snap them all perfectly in half. And then they snap them all perfectly in half a second time. They start hot gluing them all together on a large cardboard circle. And then once they've completed the circle, they put a mirror in the middle. And then a woman comes by in her obvious, like, 
Victorian era pajamas, yawns, looks at the mirror, and then goes away. Sure. Okay, they've got another detergent brand. They put a um, a metal sponge, some steel wool in the end. And then they just kind of thread it through with a shoelace, and then you can use it, and it's with a handle. All right. So someone is uh, looking at this dresser that their child has vandalized by, you know, crayon drawing on it. They put a bunch of tape on it. Also, I noticed that the dresser already had the knobs removed. Uh, they put a bunch of tape on it, and then they paint over it in a geometric pattern, outside, like inside the tape. Pull the, tain off, the paint off, and then they put some stuff on top. Sure, I guess. Hard to paint, asks this one. Okay, so... They're trying to paint around a light switch. They cut a sponge in a little pieces. And then glue it to a... What is... What the hell? They glue it to... A cake shovel? It's the little thing that you use to serve cake. I don't believe that it's called a cake shovel. And then they stick a... They stick a little thing to the... It looks like a butt plug. They stick a little thing to the to the cake shovel, and then they use that to paint. Sure. Okay, they got another thing, a detergent. They use the cap as a guide and cut a bunch of circles out of it. And then they do that obnoxious thing where they didn't want to show the whole life hack, so they just kind of slap it or something, and then it just gets cut. Ugh. And then they put a goddamned plant in it. And then you can pour water in the top of the handle and it pours water in the dirt, even though it doesn't actually change how you pour water in it. Don't throw away, says this tooltip, in reference to a egg carton that someone was already crushing up, but then they reverse the footage. Okay, so they dye it blue. And then they put another 50. That's a, There's a lot of egg cartons there. They put another 50 egg cartons like stacked in it. And they put like 10 pom-pom balls on the top. And then they, it's a chair, I guess. Sure. Yeah, and then some girl's like, hey, take this chair. And then she sits on her ugly little egg carton thing. In this life hack, someone uh, cuts a tire. They, they cut the top off a tire. They paint the outside pink. And they put a dog bed in there. And then they put a thing that says, I love dog on the front. Okay, they just showed a field full of trash. And then they have two glass bottles. They put it in a plastic bag and then they just beat it with a hammer. <laughs> okay. And then they pour it into a dish and they dump cement in there. <laughs> you let it dry 24 hours for your five-minute craft. Or 300 seconds, I mean. And then it's an ugly tea kettle thing. Didn't we see this one? Okay, so there's, there's plastic floating in the ocean. I think we might have seen the, the last one before. So there's a bunch of plastic floating in the ocean. Roll out some parchment paper, put a plastic bag on top of it, and put another one on that, and then put some parchment paper on top of that, and then just iron them together. And then you cut it into a square, and you pin it together with another one just like it. Then you sew it. They made their logo out of plastic yay and then you made a reusable grocery bag that's just made out of trash there's no way that you put all that into that grocery bag it doesn't have enough space right, they've got a plastic spoon they have a tea light they melt the spoon they bend it at a 90 degree angle so the bowl of the spoon is 90 degrees away from the top they glue it to f three of its peers until it's a sort of altar, I guess. And then they put another one just like it on top of it. They glue them together, and then you put a plate on top, I guess? 
Why? Okay, so it looks like they've got a little disposable cup. They put a fucking potted plant in there. They put a succulent in there. Ugh. People don't have this many plants. And then they show some polluted water with a Coke in it. Or a Pepsi in it. And they have a crushed Pepsi can. They just cut the hell out of it. And make it into a sheet of metal. And they just kind of cut it in half. And then they squish it into a heart. Yay. Oh, don't show me that. No, gross. And then it's a cookie cutter. Disgusting. It's not a good one either. It looks like crap. All right. Bunch of plastic bottles in the wild. They just cut the end off of one bottle and then they stuff another bottle inside of it. They tape it together. They tape it to three more like it. And then they tape it to three more like that until it's... Okay, and then they put a box on top of it and then they stretch an old sweater over it and they put a pillow on top. It can hold up to 100 kilograms. No way. Also, it's made of trash. Okay, they've got an ancient rusted can. I'm sure that's safe. And they cover it in acrylic dye. They put hot glue down the side. And they affix a can to it. And then they do it again. And they keep doing it. And now it's an ugly thing to keep your wine in that will probably cut your hand to shit and give you tetanus. Someone's cleaning up garbage. We want our children to live in a world with clean... Ugh. See, there's just a short, like, barely four-second montage of someone cleaning up garbage and then a kid and a her dad have two plastic bags full of trash and then the thing comes up that says, we want our children to live in a world with clean water, air, and soil. Let's save the planet together. So then someone has a bunch of balloons tied to their head and they start floating, although it's probably that they actually just stand up. And then it cuts to two giant balloons. You know, balloons are probably one of the most wasteful things on the planet. Balloons kill 10,000 children a year. Okay, they make a crappy rose out of it. What is it with roses? Are they just trendy? Yeah, they just make a rose out of balloons. Out of, out of long balloons, that is. And then they affix the red rose balloons to green stem balloons. Anyway, as I was saying, balloons kill 8,000 children a year. A second, even. They kill 10 billion children every year. We would be living in 3017 if not for if not for balloons, you know? The whole world would be a superpower. Okay, someone ties off a balloon and then they squish a button through it, through the whole balloon, and then they put a little rubber band on the side to hold the button down. And then they tie some thread around it. Or no, it's not thread, it's another <laughs> balloon. Just throw those parts in the ocean, I guess. And now it looks like a crappy apple. They made like 10 of those. What are those for? You're just going to throw those away. We want, our, we want our children to live in a world where we made a billion fucking dollars because we are a greedy, amoral company who hates the planet. We're five-minute crafts and we fucking suck. They made another flower. I don't care. I hate this company. Okay, so someone just twisted a, a balloon around their wrist. And then they just twist a whole bunch of them together. And they put a big balloon in the center. But two smaller balloons to be breasts. Or no, it's eyes. It's an octopus. Sure. Using double-sided tape, they stick two balloons together. And they stick more until they have a ring of balloons. They've done the same, and they have five balloons stuck together. They stick smaller balloons to it. And they arrange it until it looks like a bear made of balloons. How nice. Okay. They're tying their balloon into a ring, and then they tie it together into an eight. They fold the smaller circle inside the bigger one. Then they twist them together until it looks like a butterfly, I guess. Yeah, they've got a smaller balloon that they twist into a snail, maybe? 
Or no, they just put it on the butterfly to be the body of the butterfly. And then they cheat by drawing a little smiley face with marker. That's not how butterflies look. Butterflies don't have eyes like that. They also don't have a mouth. They have a proboscis. If you gave a shit about the world, you would know that. Butterflies are the second most important pollinators on the planet next to bees. Someone makes a heart out of balloons, I think. Yeah, giant balloons, by the way. Not like not the little the little hose balloons you make balloon animals out of. They use like big birthday party balloons and they make a gigantic heart that is probably big enough for me to sleep on out of. How much plastic is that, do you think? Okay, now we're back to the little balloon animal hose balloons. Twist it and make a bunch of beads. And now it's a sword, I guess. Yeah, they keep doing that thing where they like cut obnoxiously because they don't actually want to show how to knot this because it would be helpful. Yeah, here they're just making the balloon dog, like the extremely classic balloon animal that like probably everyone has seen. Yeah, that's just the balloon dog. You know, that's my favorite movie, The Balloon Dog Saints. Forgive me. Probably were six guys here. Well, what if it was one guy carrying six balloons? They made a swan out of a balloon. Go to hell. That's what they end the video on? That was a wet fart. They had a lot of those like these. Maybe I just like saying wet fart. Someone mentions that that nail hack spiked their trypophobia. Triop, triophobia. To the fly that sacrificed himself for this nail art. Everyone's probably bored inside because of coronavirus. Parentheses, COVID-19, close parentheses. Just pick one. Why would you use a dirty can mold for our cookies? Yeah. Who put fly wigs on their nails? Not trying to be rude, but like who? I assume they meant wings and also they wrote the wrong there, although that doesn't actually connect it. Ugh. This is so weird. Like if you agree, also I have a, a phoba, lots of little holes, so the first one was scary for me. She got a tire, put rope around it, sat on the new qu quotation mark chair, close quotation mark, got her laptop and just started typing. Did she even turn it on? Uh, this is this is so dumb this whole channel's dumb I'm glad I don't know if I'm glad I made this series I'm glad I got it out of the way people told me that like if they want to just like entertain themselves they will just turn on five minute crafts and listen to me like narrate them and they mentioned that like I should just make it a podcast and I did for better or for worse it was dumb but hey, we're here. <laughs> um, that's the end of Second Crap Baby. That's the end of Season 1, and it might be the end forever. Um, I don't know. I'll probably do some more in the future. This channel is evil enough that eventually I feel like I will just get sucked back in. Uh, long story short, though, that is 300 Second Crap Baby. Um, be kind to yourself. Uh, I told people to brush their teeth, take their medicine. You know, I'm still inside for quarantine. Yes, it's been a very long. However, I don't actually know how long I've been inside. Um, although today I actually did just see the sun for the first time in five days. That isn't entirely my fault. Because um, for two of the last two, the two, two days of the last week, it was raining like really hard. So like there just wasn't any sun. The other days were totally on me. Uh, hey, that's your that's your pro tip for the day. Go see the sun, you know? Stay outside for like four minutes. I know most people say five minutes is the minimum. Tell them to go to hell, you know? You're here for you. Do it for three minutes. Just look at the sun through a window. You know? It's dangerous. It gives you skin cancer. Our friend the sun. The skin cancer giving monster in the sky. The baleful orb 
of God's ire, the Son. You know, the Son's God's eye, so be sure to commit crimes at night when he can't see you. Because the moon God's probably down with, with crimes, you know? But, you know, in case you don't want to get on his bad side, just, you know, wait for a new moon. Everyone always commits their crimes in the full moon. Because people are screwing themselves in the afterlife. Moon God sees all that shit, you know? That's Randy's second crab, baby. Be kind to yourself and go see the sun. That's my hot tip for you. That's my life hack. Hey, my life hack is don't watch these videos. They don't need the money, you know? Watch other people watch and narrate the videos. Uh, it's your own second crap, baby. Have a nice day.